Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hey there, everybody. I'm going to be talking about Westworld Season 3. I think Season 3 is a little off the rails, in my opinion. I thoroughly enjoyed Season 1. Season 2, I'm a little iffy on. But for the most part, it kept me interested. It kept me uh, thinking in, I guess, a way that I was comfortable with, with playing with the timelines and playing with what was going on, what's the underlying meaning and everything. But season three, granted, I'll give them this. They tried. They really changed the setting so much. Is it a risky thing? I think yes, and it didn't work for me. I don't understand a lot of the things and maybe it's you know i smoke too much pot whatever but i was really got a handle on season one i was into it the uh, uh expectations were met and some of my guesses were spot on what was going on the interest in the characters stayed steady and even ones with background elements but they stood out they seem to know that and uh you know hone in on them give them a little time but season three just seems like it went too far off the rails it's too much of an experiment you left a lot of stuff behind that i was interested in the visuals first off i love seeing a western environment to begin with even if it's laced with technology and um cuts to uh offices and uh facilities so to speak fine this is just you know it's too much of a look that they went for that you know it, it's not blade runner look but it's not um our current look which is understandable but it's its own thing fine and like i said maybe give them credit for trying something new a little different or well, a lot different if you ask me but there's a lot to follow. There's a lot that you're trying to piece together, and it doesn't feel like it works. It doesn't feel like you can connect the threads to season one and two and where it was going. Fine, if that storyline is ended and I miss the boat, maybe, you know, put an exclamation point on it by giving side, the, like side character. Well, I don't know if I call them side characters, but Bernard is a pretty important character. But and like a, and this is another show. Great, great performances. Uh, Evan Rachel Wood is good, really good, and Sandy Newton should get awards. She's amazing in it. And you get James Marsden and there's a load of people. Anthony Hopkins has been on it. Tessa Thompson. But I don't know. Season three doesn't seem to pull it off for me. You got a I don't know a risk. It's, a, it's I think it's just a risk that didn't work for me now I, this is one that I would even be surprised that a lot of people liked because I just I don't see the the elements strong enough from season one and two that work I mean all we're wondering about is the fate of these certain individuals that you don't even know you know if their fate is even what it even seems but as always you had a place to found it in, a foundation or to go back to. This seems like it's cut off and it just doesn't connect well. And like I said, you've got the other characters like Bernard and uh, they bring back here and there elements. Not enough for me. Just didn't feel like a comfortable place in this adventure I was on. So season three is going to be a letdown for me. A little too... Uh, you know, and and they did it where this I, I can imagine that this show, the casting gets would get awards. I mean, they do an amazing job from the main characters to side characters to the side characters that get popular and explored. They choose, a, in my opinion, the wrong actor to be a major 
plot. He's like he's like the main character in season three, next to um, Dolores's pod and Maeve. And he doesn't work. He's, his acting doesn't work well. The from everything from his facial expressions to um the the delving into his character and he's exploring it just doesn't work for me it's done badly in my opinion so that's another strike so i'm actually remembering now some of the things i talked about with a friend and he was a major part of it too i don't like this you know you choose a person for a role and it's revealed there's more to this person, fine, but it doesn't work. Like the actor's range or the director's input isn't enough to bring it out. I'm not saying the actor sucks, and I talked about this for like characters in certain shows or movies. It doesn't work for me, and it's a shame, but you got confusing elements into it that are now somewhat confusing and that really puzzles to me. Like going from the first season to the second season, the maze, elements that were just dropped. And okay, so I take this as a new chapter uh, or ending, or could be an ending from the theme of it. I don't know. In the end, it just seems a little wishy-washy and not enough is explored for me so i'm gonna give season three a thumbs down does it does it does it ruin the whole experience for me no i think one and two were good enough but one is just really fantastic i think it carries me enough to go into a fourth season open-minded if they do one i don't know if at this point it's confirmed or not but maybe not enough but Maybe enough to drop it on my list of expectations and excitement. Maybe when season four comes out eventually, I won't be chopping at the bit to watch it. So, I don't give a lot of stuff away, especially a show like this. So I hope people can get the gist of what I'm saying. Not enough to connect me to the world or to Westworld. Not enough uh, of a plot line that I thought was going to continue that kind of faded away or I missed a cue. You can miss things in a show like this. So season three is a a disappointment. There's some good elements in there, performances, some um, ideas they come up with. But overall, I'm not going to... I can't give it the uh, nod of approval here. So... I hope people enjoyed it. If they watched it, you invested in it. I hope it worked for you. It didn't work too much for me, but hey, can't please everybody. Not enough to destroy my faith in it. No. Uh, like I said, I'll be interested in the season four. It just might not be so high on my list of things to watch. Take care, everybody. Stay safe out there. My best to you and yours.